All right. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to continue to refer to you as that because I believe we all deserve respect. I am Miss Jennifer, and my role is going to be to help you for the next couple of weeks to guide you through the different elements of social emotion learning. This course comes complete with 27 different topics. Many of these are intertwined in day-to-day -day life. Throughout this course, we're going to be discussing points beyond the material presented in the course that we were given. You are welcome to use your resources at hand. So if you have a laptop or a little tablet or a cell phone, if you need to look something up, you are most welcome to do so. Whatever extra source or a, a dictionary, a thesaurus. Does everybody know what a thesaurus is? No? Yes. Awesome, Mr. Justin. Excellent. Um, you're welcome to look that up during our class and use whatever extra source or resource you have. But let's just not let it distract, distract us or distract anybody else in the class, if that's all right. Okay? Our time together today, we're going to be reading the topic from the given list. We're going to then review what the information has been provided to us. Then we are going to start discussing examples from it. You are welcome to be telling me examples either from your personal life or from someone you know. And by no means do you have to share at any time where the example comes from. Okay? Is that sounding sort of okay so far? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Each class, you should check the, are you all familiar with Google Classroom? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So in Google Classroom, a classroom has been set up by the school so that you can go in there and check the information that I've put in there. And then your homework assignment or your, your assignment for, for your homework for today. So I've, it's going to be posted in there at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning that you can go in and check your homework and what you need to be accomplishing every day. So do your very best. It is to your benefit that you are doing this because you're the ones that are going to explore this. All right? So it is my sincerest hope that this journey together, we will each have a greater level of understanding of ourselves and a better understanding of those around us. Because what we're learning in this social emotion class is how we not only act within ourselves, but also how we act and react to people around us to our parents, to your brothers and sisters, to your friends at school, to uh, and strangers you meet. And how we handle ourselves on the emotional level and react or act forward towards them is a bearing on who you are and how you come across to other people. This becomes very, very important then later and now in how you attract friends, how you attract careers, how you interact with bosses, or when you become the boss. When, okay, so I am going to share my screen and we're going to take a look at the list of 27 um, subjects that our book has for us right now. And so hang on, let me just share this. Okay. Can you see the, the topic list? Mm, yes. And there's a big circle. It's a fancy design. You can see it. Okay, good. So you see the topics. We have automatic negative thoughts, depression, anger how to give sincere apologies, gratitude, and the list goes on. 
I've posted that list in the Google Classroom already for you. So I don't have to read you the whole list of 27 here today. But what we're going to do today is we're going to start with, I'm, I chose the first one to be gratitude. I realize that is number five on the list, but it's my belief or the reason I chose to start there is because the act of gratitude and the feeling of being grateful is the foundation to successful living. Everything you do is actually based on how grateful and thankful you are. It is the solution for many of the social emotions that we encounter. And quite simply, being in a state of gratitude is a healthy for both your mind and your body. What you think affects how your body functions. And we know this from chi. Um, do we, are we all familiar with chi? Yes. Okay. So, um, yes, ask me. Who's asking? Mr. Hey. Justin. Yes, Mr. Justin, what is your question? What's chi? Chi is the state that you're in. It is both a physical and a mental state. Um, let's see here, if we were to look that one up, what is the definition of chi? Does somebody have, um, Mr. Lenny, Can do you know chi? No. Okay, all right, let's 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 look up the definition of chi. It is your life energy. That would be the, 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 the definition of chi, okay? So now we're going to talk about social emotion. The one we're starting with today is going to be on gratitude. Does everybody know what gratitude is? Miss Isabel, can you tell me what gratitude is? I don't really know. You don't really know? Okay. All right. What about... You, Mr. Justin? Kind of. Kind of? What do you know so far? Like, um, I forget. You forget? Okay. Well, let's see what the book has to say here. All right, I'm scrolling through real quick. You can still see the screen? There we are, gratitude. Very Blurry, never mind. Okay, yeah, it, it, it was a little bit slow, but there we are. So gratitude is recognizing the good things in our lives and showing thanks. Okay. Does that sound like a good thing? Mr. Allen, what say you? Oh, I was wondering how to pronounce that thing. Is it like chi or what? The word gratitude? No. Oh, yeah. the word chi? That's yeah. life force. It's it's chi is. Does C he like spell it? I want to. Oh, it's C H I. Oh, I thought it was like cheap or chi. No, no. Okay. Um, the word gratitude. Does anybody else have a, you're familiar with this word? You're not? Mr. Lenny, yes. Unmute yourself and talk to me, please. Gratitude means thankfulness or appreciation. Yes, you are correct. All right. So my first question to each of you, and I'm gonna ask you each to answer this question, please, because Mr. Lenny has been kind enough to give us the exact definition. Um, what is an example of something that you are grateful for? Let's start ladies first, Miss Isabel. Oh, my cat. You have a cat. Oh, that's beautiful. Very well chosen, very nice. And I'm sure your cat 
is equally as grateful to be in your life. Mr. Ryan. Wait, he, uh, he said it in the chat. In the chat. Okay. All right, let me look at that. My family, because they take care of me. Oh, that is so perfect. You are right again. That is excellent. Um, I hope that we can get your speaker sounding right, but that's okay. Um, thank you for telling me, Miss Isabel, that he's in the chat. I did not recognize that. Okay, Mr. Justin, you're up. Talk to me. My iPad, so I can be in this class. I'm sorry, you're, what are you thankful for? You're what? My iPad or computer or device so I can be in Oh, your iPad. device. Okay. Okay, great. All right. Well, that's awesome. That's, that works. And you're unmuted. Okay. Now, Mr. Allen, I believe you're next. Rename it. Rename it. Oh, uh, volunteer. My time. Mr. Allen, what are you grateful for? Um, standing on this earth or being alive. Yes, beautiful answer. Very, very fundamental. You know this I word? Wouldn't, I wouldn't be thankful for anything if it weren't for that. Very true. Very, very true. If you weren't alive, you could not be thankful. And that applies to absolutely every single one of us, including Isabel's cat. <laughs> and Mr. Lenny, not to leave you out, sir. My mom. Your mom. Oh, sweetheart, that is beautiful. That is a beautiful answer. And you are very grateful for your mom. And I'm pretty certain your mom's very, very grateful for you. So that's lovely. That is absolutely lovely. Um, Ryan left the room. Okay, and we have Yen. Do we get to see your face? Oh, that's that's Ryan. Yeah, I uh, changed on my iPad because the microphone doesn't work on the computer. Oh, very good. Aren't you smart? That is fantastically ingenious of you. <laughs> and I just made that word up, so don't go looking for it. <laughs> I am, um, just to let you folks know, I am 60 years old. I've been teaching for a long time, so I think I can make up at a word every once in a while. Um, okay, so we've all found something that we are grateful for. Is there, there is a list here of things that are in the book that they say are, list, are listed for being grateful for. And it's quite the interesting list. Uh, it, they're asking you to circle the top 10. Well, I, I'm not asking you to circle anything. It's just, it's an interesting list from sounds to places. I mean, I'm not going to read it to you. You can see it right there on the screen. Um, pajamas, walking in the woods, pizza. Oh, pizza, definitely got to be grateful for pizza. Uh, best friends. Now there's something very special to be grateful for. Tell me something. My next question to you folks is if you were having a rough day and something wasn't quite, it wasn't quite right. It's like, hmm, something's not happening today. How would being grateful maybe change that? Any ideas? I know that's a big question. I'm just curious what you got to say about it. Yes, Mr. Lenny, talk to me. Talk to us, please. Share. Doing something you like to do. Okay, follow that idea. Keep going with that idea. Um, like do something you really like, but if the thing, for example, hang out with your brother and your brother's not there, it could do your second favorite thing 
or go outside and meditate. Oh, okay. All right. So now you've done one or two grateful things. Is that right? Is that is that's an affirmative? That's correct. That's what I understand you said. Okay. All right. Um, and how my question then, Mr. Lenny, is how is that? How would that change your day? Like you feel more calm instead of more furious. Oh, would you repeat that for me, please, sweetheart? You feel more calm. Okay. And less um um and less and um and you won't get mad anymore. Now, why would that be? Well, because you're already calm. Because meditating and doing something you like calms you down. Okay. Okay. Have you tried this recently? Um, or you know somebody who tries this? I sort of did this recently. Okay. Okay. And it worked. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Mr. Allen, uh, have you got any experience with how being grateful might have changed a day? Or so, have you heard of that from somebody? So one time uh, I woke up in the middle of the night. I woke up from a big nightmare. And then, well, apparently gratitude, like, helps you sleep better. Ooh, now there's something we haven't touched on. And so, and so I thought a bit about that and was able to go right back to sleep without like jotting awake and thinking about that nightmare. Well, that's fantastic. That is excellent, excellent. Very, very well done. Excellent, okay. Um. Isabel, do you have anything uh, to, you'd like to add to this? Um, not really. Okay, that's fine. And Mr. Ryan, is there anything that you would like to add to this? Uh, no. Okay, what about Mr. Justin? I didn't want to miss you. Is there uh, anything no. that you would like to add? How would being grateful possibly change a day? No, not really. Okay, all right. Okay, so my next question to you folks that I'd like you to think about, and Mr. Lenny, you have already answered this one too, and so has Mr. Allen, the idea of how it can change a situation. So, you know, if, if, if mom's not happy with me or, you know, had a bad day at school, maybe, or, or I lost, a, I lost one of my favorite, I lost my soccer ball. I don't know. How would being grateful possibly help? in that situation who has a thought for me on that may i i'd like to talk to isabel miss isabel you unmute yourself sweetheart okay so if you were having a rough day you have this beautiful kitty that loves you immensely, and you get to take care of her or him. Is it a her or him? Him. Him, okay. So you get to take care of him, and his life basically depends on you. But when things are not going the way that you would ideally like them to go, no matter what, 
that beautiful cat of yours, he's waiting for you to show you all his love no matter what. And that is a situation to be very, very grateful for, is it not? It is. It is. And it does help, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you have a situation that can get changed because of gratitude. Oh, I love the rockets there, Mr. Lenny. That's pretty. Okay, does anybody else have any other ideas of how being grateful, being thankful is another word for grateful, how it can change a day or a change a situation for you? Mr. Allen, do you have your hand up? No. No? Okay. What's that, sweetheart? Something just in my eye. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. All right. I hope you get, I hope you get that fixed. Okay. Um, all right. Now, I wanted to review and show you um, another page. I did a little bit of research and I found something from Com Confucius. Confucius said it is better to light one small candle of gratitude than to curse the darkness. That sounds deep. What does that mean? Mr. Justin, have you a thought on that? Um, instead of just not doing anything, you should have a little bit of gratitude. Okay. That's a beautiful translation and explanation of what this, what he was saying there. Mr. Allen, have you anything to add to that? No. Mr. Ryan, have you any thoughts on this? No. Okay. Okay. Mr. Lenny, you are our meditative one. Have you any other thoughts on this saying from Confucius? Yeah. Okay. Please explain it. Tell us, please. It might mean just be calm and not be angry. Okay. Okay. That's hard to do, though, sometimes, isn't it? I mean, we kind of, it's really to get, it's really easy to get angry when somebody has done something wrong to you, right? But to not get angry, that is a sign of maturity and grace and gratitude. Would it not be? Okay, all right. I'll tell you what my thought is on this one. It is better to light a small candle. Okay, so let's stop and think that through for a minute. A small teeny little candle. It's only got one flicker. One little light. Is that enough light to read a book? It might be. Okay. So it's definitely enough light that would help you get out of a totally dark room so you could actually guide your way with a little teeny candle, with one little, one little light. It is better to light a small candle of gratitude than it is to curse the darkness. So if we are cursing the darkness or if something bad has happened and you you just like, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to share my friends with this. I'm going to tell everybody that this is what happened and it was horrible and I felt this way about it. It's better to be a little bit grateful that it might have been worse or it could have happened to somebody else and it would have turned out worse. I mean, there's a whole lot of scenarios. I don't know what all they are, but it could have been a much worse situation. So there's something, that's the little light. That's the little light of gratitude in that one. Okay, does that, does that work for you guys? Has anybody got a further input on, on that? 
Mr. Ryan, Mr. Justin, any thoughts? No. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. And I'm just going to talk to you about one other thing. I didn't have this written down in a, in a screen, but I did write, I did put it in the Google Classroom for you guys to take a look at in a PDF form. There is uh, a part, there was a saying that was written by a gentleman named Paul many, many, many years ago in a book called The Bible in the book of the Bible called First Thessalonians, he said, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So what he's saying in this same saying is that in everything that you're doing, everything that's going on, to be grateful, to give thanks for it, because you have blessings or you have this is a gift there's you can always look for something that is special and good in every bad moment that can occur does that help in any way Mr. Justin, how are you coming in and out so quickly? Mm, I don't really know. I don't know either, but that's a beautiful background you've got there. Um, what other things would you be grateful for? Mr. Ryan, I've got a beautiful view of your ceiling. I'm pretty sure that you've got some really cool ideas there, maybe one or two. Um, that I'm grateful for. Yeah. What else are you grateful for? I'm grateful for like my family, my um, like food, I guess. And like technology, I guess. Because, yeah. Okay. 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 That's That's fantastic. When we keep in mind what we're grateful for, it sheds a different feeling and light on everything else that's going on around us. When things are happening at home that might, or at school or with your friends that are sad, when you think about how you're grateful and what things you have to be thankful for, it makes us feel better. So part of your homework assignment that I've going to be giving to you folks is to write down what you're grateful for but the trick is going to be that every day you come up with something new and explain it and write it out 